Considered one of the best meteor showers, Geminids is set to peak in just a few days. Its first recorded observation was around 200 years ago, first seen from a boat on the Mississippi River, and it is still going strong. Now, where do these meteors come from? Most meteor showers originate from a comet, which is an icy object that orbits the sun. Geminids, however, originates from Phaethon, an asteroid that behaves like a comet, but is just a little bit less icy. Now, why is it considered one of the best? Well, it actually gets better and better every year as Jupiter's gravity pulls the stream of dust from Phaethon closer to the Earth. This dust showing up in our atmosphere as meteors burns up brightly and frequently, making it hard for stargazers to miss. Some years you can even see up to 150 meteors per hour. Now, if you want to see this phenomenal shower, here's what you need to know. It peaks Friday night, which is December 13th for us. The best viewing is going to be away from those city lights. You'll want to get away from the city and you won't need any telescopes or binoculars to see this, but the less light pollution, the better. The best times to see these meteors will be after midnight, closer to 2 a.m. That's when you may be able to see up to 100 meteors an hour. But if you don't want to stay up late, you may still be able to see a few once the sun has set. And here's one last tip. Make sure you're using up the entire night sky. These meteors will originate from the Gemini comet, hence the name Geminids. This is easily spotted by the two bright stars that represent the head of the Gemini twins, Castor and Pollux. Now, meteors closest to Gemini will be shorter and harder to catch, whereas meteors that appear in the nearby constellations will be longer and much easier to see. And now that you're informed, make sure you put it on your calendar so you don't forget. And if you take any good pictures of the night sky, you can always share them with us on krcgtv.com slash chime in for a chance to see them on air. Now, best of luck with your stargazing. Make sure you stay warm.